again, everybody, and welcome back to Fuji Splits with me, Fujit. Hello. It's been a while since I've done a rant video, but things are literally getting to a tipping point, and action must now be considered. So it's like this. Yes, the game has evolved, and with that evolution, the player base has changed quite significantly, I think. Normally, evolution results in something better. You get, you know, it's survival of the fittest, natural selection by evolution. But presently, the evolution in Blitz is more of a devolution, I think. L let me be clear here. I personally have no issues whatsoever with low win rate players. None. Not one. I believe the game should be open to any and all skill, le skill levels and is not exclusive. I am also a firm believer in not implementing skill-based MM because I feel that would hurt the game even more. So what exactly is my problem? Well, it's pretty simple really. Wargaming needs to stop allowing players to rush into tiers and tanks that they are not able to play. Look. I freely admit I like the idea of, moving the, of removing the tech tree premiums, but at the same time I'm still aghast at the fact that there are so many premium tanks in the store that are there without restriction, other than the amount of cash in your wallet. I am totally against the massive amounts of bonuses, certificates and boosters that allow players to reach for highs that shouldn't even be open to them as of yet. I have said previously that players are themselves to blame for rushing, but at the end of the day, if you give a person an inch, they will take a country mile. Yeah, 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 I know that I generally use any excuse to harp back to the debacle that was 5.5, but that's only the root cause. That's where the rot set in. And we we're a shed load of updates away from 5.5 and yet the game is still on a downward slope and the issues just keep getting magnified. A lot of players I know have left the game, they've just given up, they have literally had enough. They are fed up with inexperienced players rushing out in tanks they are not capable of playing. They are fed up with unbalanced games, winning 7-0, losing 7-0, or something similar. They are fed up with both the toxicity they experience and they themselves losing control so that they become toxic. And above all, they are just fed up with the overall state of the game. Let's face some hard, fast truths here. Regardless of how many YouTubes are doing hints, tips, and stuff, on videos, you can't force people to watch and learn. Even if Wargaming were to introduce an in-depth tutorial, it wouldn't help the situation. Players would lose interest and turn away from the game. Thus, Wargaming would lose retention. You can't really implement inexperience MM, because all then you get is a shed load of re-rolls with their self-entitled attitude and toxicity to boot. And you know who you are, re-rollers. You act as if you're the queen bee, and to be fair, most of you are more toxic than anybody else because you finally found a way to manipulate your stats to make yourself look good, and then you get an arrogance that transcends normality. So what exactly can be done here? Alas, I do not have all the answers. But something needs to be done to restrict and prevent this tear rushing issue, which is literally destroying the game. And I don't say that lightly, it's an actual fact. Okay, Wargaming may have a lot of new players hitting the game, but they are losing veterans and now they're even losing those between the new and the veteran players in the process. Brand new players may bring their cash with them. But without the veterans, the game will go down quicker than the Bismarck. And even veterans spend cash, by the way, especially those who are tank collectors. 
Whichever way you look at it, something needs to be done to make the game enjoyable for everybody, not just newer players. There needs to be a balance whereby those who have spent time, effort and undoubtedly sums of cash to work their way up to the tiers to the so-called pinnacle of the game feel safe in the knowledge that their game will not be destroyed by some player with a few hundred battles under their belt who has rushed into a top tier tank with no idea how it should be played or even what they should do with it. Only Wargaming can address this, no one else. We YouTubers can do video after video after video trying to educate, trying to get players to pace themselves and trying to teach them how to play tanks. But the vast majority of new players aren't overly fussed about watching such things. They prefer drama. Veteran players can try to give advice, but in a great many instances, those comments were either ignored or met with toxicity. Only yesterday I rolled out in the tier 8 low, did a 3.5k damage game, only to receive a shed load of abuse from a player with less than 500 battles and a 45% win rate. And when I say abuse, I mean some of the most toxic stuff I have seen, including racism. All from a player who died first, did little to no damage and was totally useless. And then people wonder why toxicity is on the rise, why there is abuse and stuff, and it just boggles belief. Wargaming have it an issue here, I'm not going to lie. There is a danger that their up to now loyal player base will hang up their spurs and move on to something less toxic, more enjoyable and less stressful. I've said many times before, the idea of the game is to have fun, be entertained and challenged. But ask yourself this, where is the fun when some of the games are so one-sided it's laughable? Where is the entertainment when you're on the receiving end of vile abuse game after game? And where is the challenge when the players are either on your team or the opposite team or just pushovers because they are totally clueless in an experience. I try my very best to, to remain positive, to try to get the players to see the other side of the coin, where it's not all about negativity, abuse and frustration. I admit the game presently isn't at the stage whereby it's totally broken, it's on its last legs and is going under, far, far from it. But. Wargaming need to understand that whilst they may have the market cornered just now, complacency will come back to bite them and it will bite them hard. Wargaming need to reevaluate their own game and they need to find a way to restrict new players from rushing headlong up into the higher tiers and making the gaming experience for those who truly deserve to be there after their hard work, their effort and their countless hours of gaming from being destroyed. Now I have no idea if Wargaming will ever take steps to bring balance to the game from a player base point of view. But as I said, being complacent will only result in being overtaken by others. And there are others out there waiting in the wings ready to try and knock Wargaming off its perch when it comes to mobile tank games. The warning signs are on the horizon and Wargaming really do need to do something to head that off at the pass or they will find themselves playing second fiddle, losing new and loyal and veteran players to boot, something they certainly don't want. Anyway, that's been my rant, I've been Fujit. By all means comment and everything below and I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Anyway, until the next time guys, just remember, it, it is a game and it's meant to be fun. So stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that's what it should be, having fun and being happy.